Well, for months now, we have been reporting on the frustrations and devastating economic impacts of fraud involving unemployment debit cards. Now we're hearing that victims are getting hit with a new whammy on the road to recovery. KPIX 5's Kenny Choi joins us live now with those details. Kenny? Ken, there are 9 million Californians who receive their unemployment benefits through these Bank of America EDD debit cards. Many of them have lost thousands of dollars because of fraudulent transactions. Now we're learning that these victims may get hit with taxes on income that they never received. I saw um, mail from the EDD and I was really excited. Scott Wheeler at first thought the letter from the Employment Development Department was finally the money he's been waiting almost a year for, but not so. It was a 1099G tax form from EDD. They said that they had paid out $14,000 and I, I obviously didn't see any of that. And so somebody has it, but I don't have it. He was out of work for three months at the beginning of the pandemic and applied for benefits, but he never received them and gave up trying. They hadn't been in touch with me for any of the good news, but they're going to deliver bad news to me. I mean, that just seemed <laughs> not right on many levels. He's not the only one. I got it in about... February. Lisa Lean got a tax form from EDD that says she earned almost $12,000, but she told us... I've only gotten about like 800 Tell me what happened to you. Then there's Mattia Kabar. He told us Froster stole $3,000 in three separate ATM transactions from his account in October. To this day, I still haven't seen that money back on my account. But his tax notice still includes that as income. You can Andrew Gruber was also the victim of a the hack. Then his account was frozen. I have... $6,110 that are locked on a debit card. Turns out he already paid taxes for 3000 that was stolen from him. Because every two weeks when I'd certify for benefits, I would have federal tax withheld. EDD's website has a video about the 1099G form that doesn't address any fraud issues. A printable guide advises potential victims of fraud to email or call. They're asking those folks to call them. What do you think about that? It's just an endless circle of nothing happening. I watched your pieces and I was quite frankly shocked and appalled that this is actually going on. Caroline Chen is a tax professor at the Lucas College and Graduate School of Business at San Jose State. My heart really goes out to all of the victims um, that you've you know been speaking to because it's it's like it's not over yet. She says victims of debit card hacks should report to the IRS only what they actually received. It's like a big matching system. So you match and you match and you match and you match. The taxpayers on one side and the IRS's information is on the other side. So did you make $10,000 from your um, work um, as an employee? Yes, you did. Ah, uh, there's a the match. Did you receive $5,000 in unemployment benefits? You didn't. The IRS thinks you did, and now you don't have a match anymore. Chen says don't panic. You technically have three years to sort it out, but be prepared to be patient. Just like everything else in the pandemic, the IRS is backlogged. It's going to be like calling the EDD, where you are potentially going to be on hold for hours at a time and then be transferred and hung up on. Now, unfortunately for those who have had their accounts frozen, but not their funds stolen, they are still expected to pay taxes on that entire amount that's sitting in that account, even though they haven't been able to access the entire amount in 2020. Ken? Man, what a mess. So uh, it sounds like one way or the other, it, if you've been the victim of EDD fraud, you are going to have to deal with the IRS at some point now. That's right. You have an agency entering the picture at the federal level now, further complicating things. And so you have uh, you're telling the IRS one thing, you have EDD reporting a different number, and as you heard in tax lingo, that's a mismatch. You also have some people who will receive a letter from the IRS called the CP2000 that indicates that mismatch. That could come later this year or even in 2022, so it could take months, maybe even years to figure it out with the IRS communicating with the state agency EDD the private entity Bank of America, and you're stuck right in the middle. And as we know, Uncle Sam does not forget. They do not ignore those 1099s. So you got to deal with this one way or the other. What a mess. The mess just got messier. Yeah. Kenny, thank you for that.